Today we're going to look at connecting the IKEA Trode Free system with the Google Home. So for this, you're going to need to have a Google Home or Google Home Mini or um, Google Home Max, I suppose, some Google Home device. You're going to need to have the IKEA Trode Free Gateway, which is what allows it to connect to different smart home ecosystems. So right now, uh, IKEA supports uh, Amazon Madam A. It, of course, supports Apple HomeKit, which I use all the time. And uh, this is the first video where I'm looking at connecting it into the Google Home or Google Assistant ecosystem as well. So for that, you're going to need not just the gateway, you're going to need the light. Any IKEA light will be fine. And then a steering device. So right now we have a choice between the motion sensor, the um, button, the clicky button right there in the middle. And then, of course, down at the bottom, you can see there is a dimming switch as well. So let's get that uh, set up. So I'm in the IKEA Trode Free app right now, and I've already got devices set up. I've got lights, I've got the steering devices, so motion sensors, um, those kinds of things controlling the lights. So my automations are going to happen in the Trode Free app. And then I'm going to connect it to Google Assistant going into integrations and just clicking on Google Assistant, clicking on enable. Trode Free wants to use Google.com to sign in. Of course, I say yes. Tell it what uh, email address I want to use to sign in. Click that OK button and it says, OK, you're logged in, almost done. Open the Google Home app to enable voice steering of your Trode Free devices. So now we're going to go over to the Google Home app. This is where things got a little bit tricky for me and it wasn't quite as obvious as uh, I think it should be. Right, so we're going to go into the home controls here where you can see I've already got some devices set up. So you can see I've already got some uh, the Aware devices, Lutron, Cassetta, I've got Philips Hue, I've got a SmartThings Hub. Um, just a few different devices that I've been playing around with and I'm going to click on that plus button in the bottom right hand corner and I'm going to go down to uh, what you would suspect should be IKEA Trode Free. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I, Home, J, K. It's not there. It's not actually underneath IKEA Trode Free. Instead, it's underneath Trode Free IKEA which is a little strange. Um, I, I found that a little difficult to find. I will not even uh, will not even deny that. So we're gonna click on that. And this is a, a little bit strange in the way that this is set up in my view as well. Most other systems I've worked with, you just connect it on one side. You don't have to do this double-sided connection, but that's the way this works here. So it, it um, anticipates that you've already gone into the IKEA Trode Free app, you've set up the integration, you've enabled it, you've told it to log in with the same Google account, which is important that you're going to use on your Google Home um, with your Google Assistant. And then you're going to have to go on the Google Home side and reverse and do the same thing, which is, again, a little strange. But it is what it is. Accounts now linked. It works. That's what we really care about. So now that we've got the accounts linked on both sides, again, bi-directionally, which is... I, I've never seen that before. Um, it's going to go through and it's going to contact uh, the IKEA Trode Free Cloud system. It's going to say, hey, what lights do you currently have in there? So I've got garage lights, Joshua's desk, which is nice. It's pulling in all the names from my Trode Free system. Um, I can then assign these into different rooms. And uh, from there, I, I can now go in and create some routines and those kinds of things. So one thing I do want to point out here is just like with the Apple HomeKit or the Amazon Madam A integration, the motion sensors, the switches, the dimmer switch, those steering devices, they are not exposed into Google Home. So there's no way to see those or do anything with them. Not that there's really any way to do anything with them, at least currently with Google Home anyways. So any of those automations, the motion sensor automations, things like that, that you're going to want to use, um, you're going to have to do all of that work within the IKEA Trode Free app itself, which is not a bad thing. They have a lot of lights, they have motion sensors, they have pretty much what you need to get going. Um, they also have the plugs and the curtains coming up. And that's really about it. So now that we've got this all configured, we can go over and um, use our voice to control them. Hey Google, turn on my desk. You guys, turning my desk on. So again, this is just me starting to experiment a little bit with Google Home and connecting the IKEA Trode Free. If I've missed anything, if you guys have questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer those. Do a little more experimenting and uh, try to get you the info you need. Likes 
are always appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click on that little bell there. You get notifications when there's new videos. And of course, if you want to learn how to make your house a little smarter using Apple HomeKit, please check in the video details below and uh, there will be a coupon code waiting for you right there for my Udemy course. Thanks.